Alright, Shalom Israel. This is the brother Shaquat Gabar from the Greek Millstone Charlotte Camp coming at you with another lesson. And before I touch on and get into my lesson, I want to uh, start off giving all praises uh, to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakakodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Greek Millstone and Rue Well. And salutation to the fellow laborers out there that are pushing this word day in and day out in all truth is a city. You know, and like I always say, this message is to you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans which are the true biblical Hebrew Israelites, man. According to the Bible, scholarship, uh, archaeologists, you know, history, that we are the true children of the Bible, man, the children of Israel, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. Whether the, the world believe it or not, man, even amongst our people, man, and to the confused faces who bloodline go back to Negro, Latino, and Native American descent, man, you know, because this is just not a so-called religion, man, you know, the Lord deal with nationality, man, bloodlines, man, and the chosen bloodline that he to be unto himself, who the world calls God and Jesus Christ, Yahweh and Yahweh Shah, are the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and the, which are, like I say, are the true biblical Hebrew Israelites, man. The reason why, you know, because I'm going to get into the lesson about these Christianity churches, man, this religion called Christianity, man, that got our people... Uh, uh, trap and, and wickedness, man. You know, and confusion, man. Now it's a big thing about these so-called Christian pastors, you know, coming up against the Hebrew Israelites, man. Mainly the men of Great Millstone, cause we had the truth, man. Unlike these other Israelite camps, man. You know, these false prophets, man. These false Israelite camps, they're not teaching the one hundred percent truth, man. You know, they're not going into uh, history, man. Secular history, you know. Prophecy, you know, the downfall of America, the the the, inc the, uh, the coming of Yahweh Shah's kingdom, which is our kingdom, you know, the kingdom of Israel, man. Only one group mainly going into that, and that's the men of Great Millstone, starting with the apostles and elders on down, man. You know, and those that might be outside of Great Millstone, but at least following the same doctrine, man, in the same spirit, man, teaching the same thing, because it's the Heavenly Father doctrine, man. Not of our own, man. It's the true spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh And that would be these Christians, these Christians, man, you know, want to come up against the Hebrew Israelites, man. Because they see that Christianity is failing, you know, and, they, and, and most of their members of their congregation is leaving, man. Why, man? Because the Lord is doing that great awakening, man. You know, because these, you know, majority of our people that go in these churches, at least they got a, a zeal, but not according to knowledge. You know, and they hear about the end times, you know, uh, the Israelites. You know, how can you not know about the Israelites, man? Especially you're a, a, a Christian, man. They proclaim that they know the scriptures. Because throughout the scriptures, man, from Genesis to Revelation, the whole scriptures, the whole Bible is dedicated to the Israelites, man. Now we know who the true Israelites are, you know, not those fake Jews over there, which go back to, to, the, go back to the nation of uh, uh, Edom. You know, the biblical Edomites, which are you so-called white people, you're not the children of the Most High, man. You know, and you, so you so you got a, you know, a uproar for these Christians, man, coming at the men of the Lord, trying to debunk the so-called black Hebrew Israelites, because we're not labeling ourselves black, man. But black is just a term of, uh, of color, color, man. You know, the word black means darkness, you know, negativity, and we're not those things, man, you know death, you know, you know, we're not black, man, we're different shades of brown, like I said earlier, man, you even gonna have confused faces, man, you know, that might look like a heathen, the natural Gentile, but if they bloodline go back to Negro, Latino, Native American descent, they are Israelites, man, by the seed of the Father, man, because our nation, as a whole, we were scattered throughout all nations, man, wherever we was scattered to, we was in captivity under these other nations, man. So the, when the Lord wake, waking up the Hebrew Israelites, he's going to wake up and uh, elect 144,000 and one third of the nation of Israel that's scattered uh, uh, amongst the world, man, here in America and throughout the earth, man. But I'm going to go ahead and get into it. You know, <clears throat> this is um, Isaiah chapter 8, verse 20. To the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. So, these Christians, 
they don't speak according to this word, man. But like I say, man, when you read the scriptures, it's all dedicated to the Hebrew Israelites, man. You know? Because what Christianity teaches, man, they teach us that uh, all nations can be saved. You know? The false image of Jesus Christ, who the world called Jesus, which that go back to Cesare Borgia or Serapis Christos, you know? They don't have no understanding of that, man, because they so caught up into the ways of Christianity and what they've been taught well, by their slave master, man. What Esau, these so-called white people, push on they on they um on, on what they push about the scriptures, which are lies, man. You know, like I say, man, they teach all nations can be saved. You know, uh, uh, the Lord is all love. There's no prosperity. When you come into the realization about the scriptures, man, you find out that the Lord is only dealing with the Israelites, no other nation. You find out that America is going to be destroyed. And he's coming back to bring judgment on this place. And these Christians are not teaching that, man. They're not teaching the downfall of America because they don't know, man. Even when the true men of the Lord, the true prophets out there telling them, they still won't recognize the, the, the prophecies, man, because the Lord is not dealing with them, man. And they want to be stuck until, you know, Christianity, man, to the religious, man. Christianity being the stronghold, you know, the top religion. That majority of you Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans follow, man. And, and, and they're misleading you, you Israelites, man. Whether if you believe or not, man. You know, whether if you know that you are saying that you know you're an Israelite, but still want to take part of Christianity, man. Or, or rather you say you are not an Israelite, you know. You don't believe in Israel and just want to uh, take hold into the doctrine of Christianity, man. But the Lord is not dealing with Christianity, like I said, man. Because he's not speaking according to the word, man. He's not speaking the mark of the beast, man, the RFID chip. He's not speaking that the Esau, Edom, these so-called white people, and the rest of these heathen nations outside of Israel, who bloodline go back to the heathens, or the Gentiles, man, or the natural Gentiles, not the Israelite foreigners, man, what, what, what Paul went to, man. You know, because you got a lot of these Christians, you know, say that we are the Gentiles. You know, that we're the Gentiles, and the real Jews are the so-called white people, man, or the real uh, Israel is the so-called white people, because they see those fake imposters, uh, Jews over there in the land of Israel calling themselves Israelis, man. They stole our land, man, because they are the devil that the Bible speak of, you know. But Christianity, they, they don't go into that, man, you know, because they so stuck on to what they've been taught uh, or the Christianity doctrine or the world, mainly pushed through uh, America, man. So they don't have the light in them, man. And the true Hebrew Israelites, the true Israelites, man, the prophets out there speaking this word against them, man. But they're going to come up against us, you know, you know, scoff and scorn, you know, these Christians. You know, starting out with T.D. Jakes, you know, Crefto Dollar, you know, uh, Geno Genus, you know, even to the ones uh, 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 like Vocal Malone, William Bell, G-Man. You know, all these scoffers and scorners that are coming up against the truth, man. But in all actuality, they're coming against the Most High, man. And we have the ability to know that, man. They don't, you know, they don't, what they're doing, they're thinking that, you know, they're doing it for their God, which is false. You know, the lies that they've been taught. And they don't actually know that what they're doing is when they come up against the men of the Lord, in all actuality, they're coming against the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh and that only going to bring damnation to they self, man. So they look at us like we nobodies, man. You know? You know, because cause the world teaches to be a so-called uh, um, a man of the Lord. You have to have that, you know, certain, uh, uh, you know, uh, certain uh, titles. Uh, you got to be, you know, well-dressed. You got to be prospered. You know, but the Lord said he chose the poor of this world, man. And, you know, they like to call us bombs. Well, we're not bombs, man. The Lord bless us, man. He bless us with food, you know, shelter, to be content, man. You know, money for necessary things, man. We're not looking to be rich uh, in this world, man. Because we got the understanding knowing that Yahweh Bashim is going to destroy America, man, by the way of thermonuclear missiles. And on top of that, America is going to fall, man. It's going to crash, man. It's going to, uh, the dollar is about to collapse, man. So we're going to put our uh, trust in uh, uncertain riches, riches, man. Um, this is uh, 2 Corinthians, I mean 1 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 9. 
For I think that Yahweh has set for us the apostles last, as it was written, as it was selected. For I think that the Most High set, has set us the apostles last, as it was appointed to death. For we are made a spectacle unto the world, unto the angels, unto the men. Come starting off with the men of Great Millstone, man, our apostles and elders on down, man. You know, we are spectacles to them, man. You know, we look at like a, a amusement, man. You know, entertainment. You know. But that's how they look at us, man. Starting from the apostles, man, and the men of Great Millstone, what they call us bums, rapists, you know, there's a big uproar about the rape doctrine. But we go straight into the scriptures, the laws, you know, and tell them about the situations of rape, man. You know. You know what the what the uh when when, when rape happened, you know what the uh uh what you have to do under those that circumstance, man. You know how you had to pay the father fifty shackles of silver, you know. The 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 the, the own their daughter, you know that's in the scriptures, man. But these the same people that say they love the Most High, man. They actually they don't love the Most High. The the the, the God that they love is the God of this world, man. The God of Christianity, man. Chedre Borgia, man. You know, you know they'll say that the law is done away with, but saying that they they gonna please the law, the Lord, man, doing all type of wickedness, man. When they don't even have no complete understanding of the scriptures, man. But they think the Lord is dealing with them, you know. And it says, "For we are fools for Yahushua's sake, but ye are wise in Yahushua's kind." So they look at us as fools, man. But our actuality, we are wise, man. Why we wise? Because we got the complete understanding of the scriptures, man. We know what's going on, man. We know the prophecies, man. Unlike these Christians, man, and these other uh, religions that our people like to follow, man. That misleading them into the fact of what's really happening, man. Leading them from reality, man. You know? So they look at us as fools because we don't meet their certain circumstances, man. We don't add up to what they figure that a man of the Lord should be, man. You know, that the same thing, they, how they did to the, the prophets back then. And Yahweh shot, man. You know, they look, look down upon the prophets, man. Our people wanted to uh, uh, murder the prophets, man. Some of the prophets, they did murder, man. You know, they turned Yahweh shot over to the Romans to be crucified, man. Our own people, man. Reject Yahweh shot. You know, that's why the Lord is only going to save a remnant, man. The elect, man, that's going to wholeheartedly believe on this doctrine. That's going to believe on his image. Of him being a so-called black man, a Negro from the tribe of Judah, man. You know, that's going to believe that he's only for the nation of Israel and he's going to uh, save us, man. Because these niggas in Christianity, man, they're not looking for that, man. They're not looking for a savior, man. They think they save already, man. You know, doing all type of wickedness, man. And when they go to pray and say that they save, they're praying to these false entities, man. These images, these idols, man. That's why when all hell break loose, man, they're going to realize that who that we had the truth all along, man. You know? They're going to know that, man. They're going to be undeniable, man. Because what we're speaking is actually coming to pass, man. These Christian churches, man, they're not going into prophecy, man. They're not telling you that America going to be destroyed by thermonuclear missiles. That the chariots, what the world call UFOs, it's going to be the return of Yahweh Shah, and he's going to come back and bring destruction by those so-called UFOs, man. You're not telling that, man. Because it's a lot. Because they caught up into the ways of Christianity, man. The way of what they were taught by the slave master, man. You know, plantation Christianity, what the so-called white man gave unto his slaves, man. You know, to be obedient. To their system, man. And it's taking place to this day, man. Our people still follow Christianity. The same doctrine that the so-called white man push upon them, man. To obey the rules of the Edomites, man. You know, because the Edomites, they know they're going to pay, man. But they figure they can take the scriptures. That's the whole point of the slave Bible, man. Take the judgment scriptures out, the payback scriptures out. And give the slaves the, the, the scriptures, the books on about how to obey your master. Turn the other cheek. You know, misusing the scriptures, man, just to get the, the mind of our people to, to be up under them, man. You know, they don't want to forgive. They don't want you to forgive and forget, man. 
I mean, they want you to uh, forgive and forget about uh, slavery, man. You know? They don't want to face their judgment, man. But the Hebrew Israelites start with the man of great millstone. We out here telling you that these devils going to pay, man, for the wickedness that they done done to us, man. You know? And what they still doing throughout the world, man. You know, to the Israelites. What they done lie on the scriptures, man. Blaspheming the name of the Most High and the Son. The images, the scriptures. You know? How about Shemel Shah is going to deal with them for that, man? And the ones of our people don't, that's want to be joint hand in hand with these uh, Edomites and with the and heathens, uh, the wicked heathens of this world, man, they're going to be destroyed, man, as the scripture says. This is Ezekiel chapter 2, verse, um, verse 1. And he said unto me, Son of man, stand upon thy feet, and I will speak unto thee. And the Spirit entered into me when he spake unto me and set me upon my feet, that I heard him that speak unto me. Kind that was the same Spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahushua dealing with his prophets today, man. Just like he did with the ancient prophets, man. He put his Spirit on them to speak his words, man. And he said unto me, Son of man, I send thee to the children of Israel. Once again, to the children of Israel, man. Not the whole world, man. And I'm going to get into that, man, about this new covenant that the Christians talking about. You know, they, and they, they, they in their mind, they're thinking that the new covenant represent when the Lord came and died. You know, because they, they'll say, you know, they'll say that, all right, you know, the Lord been an Israelite. He been a Jew. But when he died on the cross, all mankind can be saved. All nations can be saved. Well, after these scriptures, after this scripture, man, I'm going into the new covenant, man, and who it pertaining to. And he said unto me, son of man, Ezekiel chapter 2, verse 3, and he said unto me, Son of man, I send thee to, a children, to the children of Israel, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, to a rebellious nation that have rebelled against me, kind, and two-thirds, because that's the number that the Lord is going to destroy in these times, man, because the elect is going to come back to Yahweh Shah, 144,000 and one-third. But two-thirds of his people are rebellious, man. You know, and how are they rebellious? One of the, one of the, um, the topics I'm going into, man, Christianity, man, these religions, man. You know, cause there's no excuse, man. The men of the Lord is out here telling you the true understanding of the scriptures, man, of the Bible, man. But they want to hold on to Christianity, man. The false teachings of the of the, of the Bible, man, that this world portrayed, man. They don't want to come into the true understanding, man. So the Lord said they're rebellious. And that word rebellious means uh, the fight against, man. they fighting against their own power, man. They own their heritage, man. They, want, they, want, they don't want to accept the true understanding of the scriptures. They want to be told lies, man. Like the scripture say, they want to be prophesied. He told they want to be uh, 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 want the men to be speaking and prophesying unto them smooth things, man. They don't want to hear the, the judgment of the Lord, man. You know, cause they comfortable in their wickedness, man. They don't want to get right, man. Cause they want to lust in their in their uh, mind after the things of this world, which is full of wickedness, man. That's why they say the law is done away with, man. You know, you can do whatever you want and just that you can ask the Lord for forgiveness and keep doing um, uh, uh, wickedness, man. You know, the Lord is not like, is not dealing like that, man. In that case, he went and asked his son, you know, he went and set his son up to be that uh, sacrificial lamb and to give repentance to sin, man. In order for you to be the repentance to sin, you know, to give repentance for your sin, you have to believe in Yahweh Shai. You got to turn from your sin. You can't say you believe in the Lord and keep doing wickedness, man. It doesn't work like that, man. You got to be born again. And part of being born again is knowing your nationality and turning away your mind from this wicked world, man, and pleasing the Lord to the best of your ability, man. Not being a hypocrite, man, like these Christians, man, and these other uh, religions that our people like to follow, man, especially Christianity. And it said, and they, it said, um, and I said unto to me, and he said unto me, Son of man, I send thee to the children of Israel, to the rebellious nation that have rebelled against me. They and their fathers have transgressed against me even until this very day. Constantly, like I say, man, even since the ancient times, man, you know, you Israelites, man, rebellious, man, against the prophets, man, against the law, statute, commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh you know, following these false gods, man, the idols, the ways of the heathen, man. You know, the scripture says there's nothing new under the sun. You know, because these, these are these same wicked Israelites coming back, what you call as reincarnation. Same spirit coming back in the flesh, 
doing the same wickedness, man. But this is the final judgment that the Lord is going to uh, 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 bring upon them, man. You know, because in our kingdom, they're going to be all righteousness, man. But the ones that don't make it to the kingdom, they're going to be destroyed, man. When the kingdom is set up, man. Only the elect is going to be the foundation of the kingdom, man. Starting off with the, the elect, like I said. And it says, um, it says, For they are imprudent children, stiff-hearted, constantly hard-headed, man. A lot of these Christians, man, they, they puffed up, man. You know? You, they figure that, you know, they're too prideful, man. You can't tell them nothing, man. You know? That's why they're going to be judged, man. And they said, and it says, uh, I do send thee unto them. Thou shalt say unto them, this say the Lord of power. This is what the prophets out there saying, man. We telling you this is what Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah said. The true power of the scriptures, man. The true power of the Bible, man. Not our own heart, man. And they, and they, whether they were here or they were forbear, for they are a rebellious house, yet they shall know that there have been a prophet among them. Counsel, whether if the ones of our people hear the truth and don't accept it, you know, the Lord, the Lord said that then they're going to know there's been a prophet. They're going to know there has been a prophet among them. Man. So cause when all hell break loose, they're going to know that the truth was out there um, being told, man. They're going to know the warning was being uh, uh, published, man. You know, the warning, the trumpet was, the trumpet is being blown, blown, man. But they don't want to take heed, man. Salah. They don't want to take heed to the true men of the Lord. They want to be comfortable in their wickedness, man. That's what's going to lead to the uh, destruction, man. This is um This is first Timothy second Timothy chapter three verse one. This knowing also just know also that in the last days, perilous times shall come. And then what time we coming in, man? We coming into some perilous times, man. The word perilous meaning dangerous times, man. The time when all hell is about to break loose, man. And that's what we out there warning you Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans about, man. You know, the wrath of the Lord coming down upon this place, man. For men should be lovers of their own selves. And that's what you see, man. You know, in this world, man, even amongst the Christianity church, man, they are lovers of themselves, man. You know, you now I done been in the, the Christianity church and, and the water, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah for getting me out of that, man, and, and, and allowing me to know the true spirit of the Lord, man. Because the Lord is not dealing with these churches, man. And majority of the time when these people go out there in the church, you know, and they do their testament, you know, what they always do, what? They glorify themselves. Tell me how the Lord blessed me with a house or a car. You know, uh, uh, money, you know, certain material things of this world, man. You know, instead of they, because the Lord said that when you come serve the Lord, man, we're going to lead off from them things in this world, man. And we're going to glorify you how about you, was shot. Because you come to the realization that we in captivity, you know, and this punishment, man. And you want to escape the draft of the Lord that he's going to bring upon this place, man. That's why we out there preaching this word, man. We, not, not, we have nothing to glorify of the things of this world, man, of ourselves, man. Like I said, cause we, cause when you come into the truth, man, you find out that you went off, you know, that you done wicked, you know, you know, and the Lord is gonna judge this place, man. The majority of these Christians, man, they are lovers of their self, man. They're not exalting your how about Shem Yahweh Shah, you know. Cause if they was, they would go out, they would go out there and tell the, the things that the Lord is about to do, man, you know. Uh, you know, like the the men of the Lord. And it says, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemer, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy. And that's all those Christians, man. Majority of them, man. Boasters, you know. Blasphemers. You know. Even if they ignorant, you know, don't know, man. Being ignorant, man. They don't even know. They thinking that, you know, they praising that false image, Cesare Borgia. The white image of so-called Jesus, you know. That's blasphemy, man. 
on the scriptures. You know, when they trying to tell you that the law is done away with, when, when Yahweh Shah said that he come not to destroy the law, but to fulfill the law. He said, no uh, uh, tittle or uh, drop shall uh, go from the law, man. Meaning he's not going to do away with the law, man. They're talking about how they justify eating swine, you know. They got homosexuals and lesbians in the churches, man. All type of, and all type of wickedness going on in on churches, man. Pedophilia, you know. But they got the nerves to call us rapists, you know. When there's all type of accounts uh, 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 in the so-called black churches or these Christianity black churches about how much pedophilia going on. Adulterers, the uh, men sleeping with other men, women, you know, all type of wickedness, man. But they got the nerve to say that we that that we not men of the Lord, you know. With Christianity being exposed, man, especially the black Christianity churches, man, all the wickedness that they doing, man, that all the Lord's gonna destroy them, man. And it says, traitors, I mean, on uh, verse three, without natural affections, truth breakers, false accusers, and that what they doing? They false accusing us, man. When they calling us bombs, rapists, or, or, or radicals, you know. The Lord is going to destroy them for that, man. Because the Lord say every idle word that men uh, think, or uh, rough or pa paraphrasing, when every idle word, word that men speak, you know, is going to be held accountable against them in that day, man. So all that slandering, demonization, what they're doing against us, man, they're going to pay for it, man. But like I say, man, they actually coming against the spirit of the Lord, man. You know, they actually coming and scoffing and scoffing and scorning against the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahusha. And that's a battle that they ain't gonna win. And it said, um uh, it says, uh, despiser of those that are good, Carl, cause we doing good, man. In the eyes of the Lord, what we doing is good, cause the Lord tell us to do these things, man. He tell us to go out there and speak. Amongst the, 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 the gathering, the children of Israel, Israel the war you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you know, turn back from our wickedness and, and do righteousness, man. And do what we doing, man, true, sincere brothers, man, you know. But they despise the ones of us that are doing good, man. But in their mind, they really thinking that they're doing righteousness, man. But Lord, as they know, they're doing wickedness. They're doing the work of Satan, man. And some of them do know that, man. It is caught up into the wickedness that they, they, they you know, it pleasure them the the uh on do wickedness, man. Even if you if they didn't, even if they got a conscience knowing that they doing wrong, man, cause they don't know how to do right, man. You know, the scripture said that wisdom will not dwell with a man, man, uh mischievous uh soul, man. Cause they too much they so much in doing wickedness that the Lord ain't want to deal with them, man. He want to deal with the truth and sincere brothers, man. The ones that's going to be repentant. They are going to have the understanding. And know that what they was doing in the world was wrong. And they're going to turn from it, man. You know, not to keep on doing it, man. That's why they can't get this truth, man. And it says, um, traitors, high, uh, hardy, high-minded, lovers of pleasure more than the lovers of the most high. And that's how these Christians is, man. Like I say, man. All they got their mindset about Christianity is prosperity, man. Because that's what this world teaches when it comes to Christianity, man. Prosperity, man. They always so much in lovers of pleasure, man. Like I say, they always want to boast about the cars, the house they got, the money, you know, all the blessings that the Lord gave me. But at the end of it, they don't even know who they are, man. They all the Lord gives them them blessings. You know, the scripture said that a gift destroys the heart, man. And that word heart in the Hebrew is love, meaning mind. These riches of this world is destroying them, man. Keeping them from the true understanding of the, of the scriptures, man. That's why the Lord gave them these material things, man. But the Lord says since they want to trust in their riches so much, he given over, give them over to these the lust of these riches, man. The lust of their wickedness, man. That's why they can't get the truth, man. And it says, uh, having a form of God godliness, but denying the power thereof from such turn away. Kind. So, they claim that they love the Most High. They all in the scriptures, you know. But when we tell them that the true power of the, of the scriptures, Yahweh Bashim was shot, the power of the Israelites, they don't want to hear that, man. They don't want to hear that. That's why they're it's denying the power, man. You know, the scriptures say denying the power thereof 
from such turn away. So they don't want to get back with the true power of Yahweh Bashan Yahushua. How they supposed to be taught, man, through the scriptures, man. They want to hold on to the former so-called godliness that they have, uh, what they receive in these churches, man, which is wickedness, man. And we exposing it, man, that these churches are not following the, the, this true doctrine, man. How they supposed to be taught, man. But they don't want to leave off from that, man. So they denying the power, man. But they don't, when they reject the word. Oh, that's it on that. Um, Matthews, chapter 24, verse, um, and, and Yahweh Shah answered and said unto them, and Yahweh Shah was talking to the disciples, man, the true believers, man, the elect. He said, Take heed that no man deceive you, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am the anointed, and shall deceive many. And that were these Christian churches, when they read their scripture, they thinking like we the ones that deceiving them, man. Or actuality, they the ones, you know, that are deceiving the people, man. The Lord was speaking about them, man. Dumb and these false uh, uh, prophets and these religions, man. You know, because they deceiving, them, deceiving people, man. We telling them the truth, man. And it said, For many shall come in my name, saying, I am the anointed, and shall deceive many. And that's how a lot of these false Christianity pastors speak, man. Saying that they the anointed, man. Well, they ain't, if they was the anointed, they'll come out the scriptures. How they supposed to be broken down, man. Well, you can tell they're not anointed, you know, because they're not coming out the scriptures, man. Like I say, man, they're coming out the, the lust of their own heart, man. The things of this world, man, what they've been taught through through the Christianity by this system, man. Like I say, they're not speaking about the things of Yahweh Shah. They're not speaking according to this word, man. Like I say, they think the new, the new. The new covenant is the Lord dying, you know, for everybody, man. But you don't have no understanding, man, that the Lord only died for the Israelites, man, starting off with the elect. And the ones in the New Testament that Peter, the disciples, you know, and Paul was set up to go to the Gentiles are the Israelite foreigners, man. Not the actual Gentiles, man, but the Israelite foreigners. The, the ones that lost their customs, man. You know, because we were scattered amongst all nations, man. Just like as this day, man. You know. Now they're coming back into the fold, man. The ones that's going to leave off from them customs of the heathens. And come back and keep the custom and praise Yahweh by Shem Yahweh The Israelite foreigners, man. Because we were, we, in this time, all of us were once Israelite foreigners. Now the Lord is calling us back by this truth, man. You know. The Lord is not gonna save all, 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 all men, and that's in the scriptures, man. The New Testament, man. But these, but these Christians, man, they don't understand the scriptures, man. You know, they don't, they don't really touch on the King James Bible. They go into the NIV version, you know, all type of versions outside the King James, man. Cause the King James version is accurate, man. And Esau done that on purpose, cause he know Esau know the truth, man. Like our apostles always say, man. For all of you to tell a lie, you have to know the truth, man. So Esau taking away, adding to the word of his version of the uh, of the scriptures, man. Because our actuality, when you go into the King James version, first of all, King James was a so-called black man from Europe, man. Because we ruled Europe one part of the time, man. The Christians don't even know that, man. You know? And he translated the scriptures. He didn't rewrite them. He translated them, man. From out of the Hebrew, Greek, Latin, into the old English, man. A lot of people don't know history, man. They just go about what they've been taught in this world, man. This is Hebrews uh, 8 and 8. It's going into the new covenant, man. And we're going to see who the new covenant for, man. We're going to see is it, if it is it for all nations, man. As these Christians uh, proclaim. And it says, Hebrews 8 and 8, For finding fault with them, who's the, who he finding fault with, man? Israel, man. Israel is, his own, is the only nation that the Lord cared for, man. 
you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and those that go back to the descent of that bloodline through the seed of the Father, man. For finding fault with them, he said, Behold, the days come, said the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. The new covenant, man. When he said, and he said, with the house of Israel and the house of Judah, man. The so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day when I took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt. Then when well, he ain't say nobody else. Why well, ain't say Israel and the house of Judah, then the house of Edom, the house of Moab, Ammon, Ham, you know, because they not of the covenant, man. The Lord only chose one nation, that's the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. We are one nation, man. The Israelites, man, the true Israelites, man. And these devils know that, man. That's why they came out with Christianity, man, and these other religions to keep you simple, uh, Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans blind to the fact of who you are, man. But the Lord is not going to have the elect caught up in that, man. He's going to give the elect the spirit to understand and see through these uh, devils' lives, man, these deceivers, man. Because that's what the word devil means, deceiver. And it said, not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day when I took them by their hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt. And when during the time of Egypt, who the Lord made the covenant with when he set up Moses, man? The Israelites, man. He gave the law, statutes, and commandments to the Israelites, man. Quick precept. Not the whole world, man. And I'm reading out the New Testament, man. Meaning the New Covenant, man. Because you got a lot of these Christians... They'll say that oh, 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 the old covenant, covenant, that's the old testament. The new New Testament is, is what we go by. Well, in the New Testament, they say that he's gonna make that new covenant with the nation of Israel, man. Cause he's only dealing with the nation of Israel. This is Psalms chapter 40, 147, verse 19. He showeth his words unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgment unto Israel. So he showed his law, statutes, and commandments, these scriptures. The spirit is only dealing with the nation of Israel. He have not dealt so with any nation. So any other nation outside the nation of Israel, he had not dealt with them, man. You know, the Lord is not dealing with all these other nations, man. As far his, as far, and as far his judgment, they have not known them. Praise ye Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. Kind because these heathens, they don't know the understanding of the Lord, man. Why? Because the Lord is not dealing with them. That's why they set up their false gods and would give reverence to stones, statues, images, you know, uh, 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 certain uh, things of this world. They, they behold as gods, you know, because the Lord is not dealing with them, man. The Lord said that we are his portion, man, the nation of Israel, man. You know, we're supposed to give reverence to the true power, man, not these false idols that our people like to follow after the heathens, man, because they don't exist. Cause he's not dealing with all nations, man. Back in Hebrew chapter uh, 8, verse uh, 10. And it said, For this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, say the Lord. And he said, This is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, man. After what days, man? The Christians ain't going to explain that, man. But we can. Because the Lord gave us the understanding, man, through the apostles and elders on down, man. Through the Spirit, man. And we know after the days of what? After the days when Yahweh Shah come back and destroy this place, man. You know, when America collapse, martial law, famine, pestilence, when all hell break loose, race wars, you know, when judgment is on a high, uh, high level, you know. After those days, man. After the days when, when you know, when the, this place be destroyed, man. And thermonuclear missiles uh, destroy America, man. And it's up and coming World War III, man. And Yahweh Shah delivered the elect, man, by the ways of the chariots, man. And this was going to be the new covenant after all that, man. And uh, I will put my laws into their mind and write them into their hearts. And I will be to them a power, and they shall be to me a people. Come huh? The law, statute, and commandments that we're supposed to be keeping, the Lord's going to put in, in our inward part, man, meaning in our spirit, in our mind, and we're never going to go off, man. So therefore, to say that, we're not going to die anymore, man. You know, because sin, transgressing other laws, meaning sin, leads to death, man. Leads to punishment, man. But the Lord is going to put it in our inward part, the law, statute, commandments, that we're going to be righteous forever, man. 
And we're gonna, our kingdom gonna last forever because we're gonna be in righteousness, man. We ain't gonna go into captivity, man. Because the reason why we ain't in captivity now because we broke the law, statute, and commandments, you know, for being rebellious, man. And it says, and I will be to them a power, and they shall be to me a people. And what people, man? The Israelites, man. Hope you Christians watch these videos, man. And I hope you watch this video and, and, and hear the uh, chapter that I'll break it down, man. Once again, Hebrews 8 and 8, man. Uh, verse 11, and they shall not teach every man his neighbor and every man his brother, saying, Know the Lord, the Lord. For all shall know me from the least to the greatest. Come, because in that kingdom, ain't going to be no more confusion, man. Ain't going to be no Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. No Israelites talking about they Islam. Is, uh, Islam. They, you know, they hermetics. You know, they Christian. Uh, Roman Catholicists, you know. In that kingdom, all Israel going to know who the true power is, man. The Lord said from the least to the greatest, man. Because the ones of our people, the two-thirds that's going to die on this side, they're going to come back into the kingdom. Reincarnated, you know, uh, being the offspring of the, the elect, man, the, the 144,000 and one third. That's going to be the foundation of the kingdom that the Lord is going to set up, man, of his people, man. And they're going to come back in their right mind, man. All these Christians over here, the ones of our people that want to follow this false doctrine, man, of Christianity. And when they die, they're going to come back and realize that they were Israelites. Then they're going to know they were Israelites. And the Lord had the truth. Giving the truth to the Hebrew Israelites all alone, man. To the men of the Lord out there prophesying now, man. And it says, um, For I will be merciful unto the unrighteousness, and their sins and their iniquities will I remember no more. And that he said, a new covenant he had made, the first old, now that which decay and wax, is, wax, wax old is ready to vanish away. So the new covenant is about to be done away with when the new covenant come in, man. When the old, I mean, the old covenant is going to be done away with when the new covenant come in, meaning when the kingdom of Israel is established, man, and Yahweh Shah, uh, uh, and Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah set the spirit up upon the nation of Israel to be righteous, man, with the law, statutes, commandments in them, you know, and governing the world by the law, statutes, commandments through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. And, you know, because these Christians, like I said, they think the new covenant. Oh, God love everybody, whoever can, you know, confess that Jesus is the Savior. By the whole time, they thinking that Jesus is a so-called white man, you know. And in all actuality, the Lord is a so-called black man, like I said, from the tribe of Judah. And his name is Yahweh Shah, man. So they don't know what's going on, man. And it says, let me get another scripture, and I'm, you know, about to close it out. Don't brought out enough points, man. But these Chris, we understand that, you know, majority of the world ain't going to get it, man. It's a blessing that the Lord gave it to us, and he keep the spirit on us to keep going, man. You know, because we're only doing these lessons and pushing the word for the elect's sake, man. Because that's who the Lord is only coming back to dealing with, man. We already know that the Lord is not going to, the Lord is not dealing with all Israel, man. You know, especially these Christians, man. But there are going to be some elect men and women. That's going to come from out of that Christianity, out of Islam, you know, out of whatever religion they following and come back and serve the true power, man. These lessons are for the for them, man. But the ones, you know, that want to keep on being wicked, you know, the Lord said, let them be, man. This is um, Acts chapter 5, verse 30. The power of our father raised up Jesus, which again, his name is Yahweh Shah. In the Paleo Hebrew, man, meaning he deliver, man. You, I bet you, t uh, tell most of these people what the Lord name means. These Christians, man, they don't even know, man. And it said, Acts chapter um, five, verse thirty: The power of our Father raised up Yahushua, who you slew and hang on the tree. He, him, have Yahweh exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior. For to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. So the Lord only died for the nation of Israel, man. To give repentance to Israel, man. You know? He ain't say no other nation after that, man. And then I say that, you know, the Jews reject. The Jews reject the Lord. So that opened up the door for the Gentiles, you know? Once again, man. 
the, the, all the Jews, on top of that, all the Jews did not reject the Lord, man. It was the wicked uh, uh, Jews, man, the wicked scribes and Pharisees, man, the non-believers, man. But you had righteous scribes and Pharisees and men that believe, men, women, and children that believe in Yahweh Shah back then, man. And the part when they say that, uh, when they say that, you know, the, the, the Jews reject the Lord, the, uh, the Messiah, and the Gentiles, he opened up the door to the Gentiles. No, man, talking about the Israelite foreigners, man. Because the Lord knew that all of us was Israelites, man, even including the Israelite foreigners that might look like other nations and that follow their customs, man. Because the truth is for them, because they're Israelites, man. And you had the, the, the lack of them amongst them that were going to repent and come back and follow their true inheritance, man. That's why they don't understand, man. So they, Because the, they're too caught up into the ways of Christianity, man, that misleaded them. To their own damnation, man. Cause um this is Romans chapter eleven, verse twenty six. And so all Israel shall be saved. As it is written, there shall come out of Zion the deliverer, and shall turn away ungodless from Jacob. So they say all Israel is going to be the same meaning. The Lord is going to uh, set up Israel, man. You know, like I say, even though two-thirds going to die on this side, but they, how they going to be saved, man? Because the Lord is going to bring them back in the kingdom, man. Because they're Israelites, man. And the promise was given unto them, man. You know, even though they rejected on this side. But when they come back being the offspring of the elect, you know, because there's going to be sex in heaven. That's another thing these Christians don't believe. They don't believe or they don't have no understanding that the, the kingdom of heaven is going to be on the earth, man. They figure when you die, you know, you go to the spiritual realm and that's it. Or you go there to a place called hell. But they don't have the understanding of hell, man. You know, but they got the nerve to come up against the men of the Lord. That the Lord done uh, uh, equip, equip with, with well understanding, man. From the apostles and elders on down, man. You know, because we know the understanding through the scriptures, there's no place called hell, man. Where you go burn forever, man. When you look into the word hell, it simply means the grave or a pit or the ground, man. You know, because when you die, man, your body going into the ground, but your spirit go back to the heavenly, the, the heavenly father, man, the spiritual realm, and be reincarnated again, meaning re means back, carnated or carnality means flesh, man, back in the flesh, man. You know, so you, when you die for a certain amount of years, you sleep, you rest, and you come back down being born again in a new body, man. Same spirit, man. Reincarnated, man. Not you die, go to the spiritual realm and live forever, man. That's what these Christian men talk, man. You know, and they figure the kingdom of heaven is going to be out of space somewhere, man. When the Lord said the kingdom of Israel is going to be here on the earth, man. And it says, um, they shall come out of, there shall come out come out Zion the deliverer, which is Yahweh Shah, and shall turn away ungodliness from Jacob, for this is my covenant unto them when I shall take away their sins. Come, so the Lord said this is the covenant once again to who? Jacob, man. Israel, man. And Yahweh Shah is going to be the one that's going to establish that new covenant, like I say, with the laws in our inward part, man. Being righteous here on the earth and govern the earth through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shah and Yahweh Shah. Um, but like I say, man, only for the elect, man. You know, when we come to the understanding, man, we just only concerned about the elect, man. And pray that we be part of it, man. That we are doing to the end, be part of that uh, hopeful elect that the Lord is going to raise up and set up in the kingdom of Israel, man. You know, because we come to the understanding knowing that all Israel is not going to get this truth, man. That they're going to die, you know, the two thirds, man. But we also understand that, you know, that they're going to come back in the kingdom, man, through the elect, man. So, you know, I'm going to leave, off, leave off with this last scripture. This is, um, um, this is on Revelation chapter 22, verse 10. And he said unto me, seal not the sayings of the prophecy of this book, meaning these scriptures, man. You know, so the scriptures are out, man. The prophecies are out, man. And the true men of the Lord, starting with the men of Great Millstone, is out here pushing his word, man. 
So the book is not sealed, man, but it's sealed to the non-believers, man, the ones that lack understanding, the ones that the Spirit of the Lord is not dealing with, the two-thirds. And it said, seal not the saying of the prophecies of this book, for the time is at hand. So we at the time of the second coming of Yahweh Shah Mashiach, man, you know, and he's going to bring destruction, man. And before that, he's come, all type of hell is about to break loose that we were entering the times now, man. But the Christians came to speak about that, man. How you going to talk about so much, talking about prosperity, prosperity, good things coming to you. We ain't nothing but death and destruction, you know, uh, taking place, man. All type of race wars, all type of pestilence, you know, all type of uh, uh, wars, you know, World War Three, you know, the, 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 the economy crashing of America, man. You know, but they still in these, these, uh, these simple minds thinking that this place is going to prosper, thinking they, they we in some good times, man. We ain't nothing but all hell breaking loose, man. And the men of the Lord out there preaching this, man, because that's what's in the scriptures, man. Um, I'm going to get a quick precept. So we ain't in no time of prosperity, man, living it up, man. To show you how lost our people is when it comes to Christianity, man. Talking about love, love, and peace and happiness, prosperity. Well, you ain't seen up but sounds of uh, judgment, man, destruction, man. But they don't know the God that they supposed to be serving, the scriptures, and the scriptures, man, talks about that, man. Because this place is wicked, man. And the true prophet is going to speak of, of the downfall of America, or the downfall of wicked kingdoms, you know. But that's what the Lord set up the prophets to do, man. To speak against wicked kingdoms, man. And this is a wicked kingdom, man. And these Christians can't see that, man. All the wickedness that's taking place, you know. But somehow they love the Lord and, you know, God all love and stuff. But he's not going to judge this place for what's, taking, what's going on. This is Jeremiah chapter 28, verse 8. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries against great kingdoms of war, of evil, and of uh, pestilence, kind, that was taking place, man. And that was the true man of the Lord is going to be prophesying against uh, the wicked kingdoms, man. Because that's the judgment that's coming to this to the wicked kingdoms, man. And during this time, uh, America, man. And then that's what you're seeing, man. War coming to America. All type of pestilence, you know. Evil. But these Christians talking about, so we in a time of love and peace, man. They simply blind, man. They avoid a judgment, man. Reprobates, man. They don't understand that the Lord is about to destroy this place, man. You know, the scripture said that the Lord coming back with fire, man, with destruction, man. But these Christians, they don't read, man. That what you're telling you, you Negro, Latino, Native Americans that must be might be amongst those Christians or listening to our, our videos, especially the men of Great Millstone, man. Don't be straddling the fence, man. You better get right with the Lord before it's too late, man. Cause it's gonna be a time when the Lord is gonna take his uh, prophets off the street, man, or take this take this word off the internet, man. And you're gonna have no cloak for your sins, man. You know, like I say, these Christians they're mad now because the Great Awakening, man. They got their con people from their congregation leaving and joining the Hebrew Israelites, man, cause they sin through their madness, man. And the ones that's still in that madness, man, and that's straddling the fence, like I said, man, you better pray to the Lord. And could they watch our videos, man? And you better get right, man. The time coming, man, that this place is about to crash, man. Judgment about to, judgment about to come on this place, man. And there ain't going to be nothing pretty, man. You know, with, with, nothing, with nothing but death, man, and destruction. Back in um, Revelation chapter 22, verse 10. And he said unto me, seal not the saying of this book, of the prophecies of this book. For the time is at hand, he that is unjust, let him be unjust still, and he which is filthy, let him be filthy still. Counsel, so the Lord said, the ones of our people that's wicked as all hell, don't worry about them. They want to be wicked, let them be wicked, you know, because the Lord going to destroy them, man. And the Lord already got it set that he want to destroy them, man. The Lord is only concerned with the elect, man. So the ones of our people that want to stay in the Christianity, stay in the Islam, stay in the Roman Catholicism, Egyptology, the ways of this world, Lord said, don't worry about it. I got something for him, man. And it's called judgment, man. He said, you worry about yourself, man. You take heed and get right with me. You know? Then you will uh, 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 pray 
that you be part of the elect, man, if you keep it doing to the end, man. That's how us brothers here at Great Millstone, as the true sincere brothers feel it, man. We trying to get right and stay right and be right with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh So when he come, he can say, well, well done, my faithful servant, man. Enter into my rest, man. Into my glory, man. That's what we want to hear, man. Not to be rejected and be de destroyed, man. And it says, and he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. And behold, I come quickly. My reward is with me to give every man according to his work. And uh, work shall be come. So you, how you doing the work, man? What you out doing the um, things that you how about you? shop pushing this word in all truth and sincerity, man. You know, putting out these videos, breaking down the scriptures the right way. You know, going out there on the highways and byways, man. Being brotherly love, keeping the law, statute, commandments, and the high holy days to the best of your ability, man. Being truth with your power, man. You know, not being a phony, man. You know, Israelite on the weekend, but through the weekdays, you're doing all type of wicked shit, man. You know, you ain't supposed to be like that, man. Oh, and, and like these Christians, man. Don't be like these Christians, man. The ones that are people in these religions, man. You know, they're not doing the work of the Lord. So the reward they're going to receive is death and destruction, man. They think they're doing the work of the Lord. But in all actuality, not if they're not doing what the scriptures have said according in all truth and sincerity, man. And, other, and the understanding, man. How a true man is supposed to present them, himself a pleasing of the power of how about Shem Yahweh Shah. So brothers, I pray that this uh, lesson that you brothers been edifying, man. You know, these Christians and these other scoffers and scorners, all these people that's against the truth, they're going to lose, you know. The only thing we got to do is keep pushing and keep increasing our faith, man, because this boosts our faith, man. Faith, man. Because we had to know and understand that the Lord gave us the truth and lead the rest of them blinded, man. So that's a blessing within itself, man. You know. So let them, like the scripture said, let them be unjust and be filthy, man, to those newts, or to the Lord bring that judgment upon them, man. But we're going to keep serving the Lord, man, our power, man, you know. You know, so till the next time, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rekach, Wadash, double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone that rule well, and salutation to the fellow laborers in the ministry, the Akim and the Akwa, you know, the ones out there that supporting uh, their men. You know, and there's truth, you know, the few sisters out there, and, you know, the children, that's also, man, that's other uh, elect, man, to the next time, Shalom.